So you often advise uh, that you focus, that people focus. Instead of going after every possible channel to achieve mediocrity across the board at best, that you choose one or two and be excellent. Is that a quality that you find often in the folks who can take lemons and make lemonade, make good out of bad circumstances? Well, you know, Leslie, you're an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, you and I both know a lot of people that have started businesses. And the one thing that I've seen for a long, long time, I know a lot of really good folks with very good intentions that have side hustles. They're working a job and they got this thing over here they're working on on the side. And they're always hoping that's going to be my thing someday. You know, I'm, I know I'm working a job and I got the corporate thing going or whatever they're doing, whatever their safety net is. But I got this thing. I got this Etsy business or I, I always wanted to start a fitness operation or whatever it is, right? They've got it as a side hustle. You know how many of those people have turned that side hustle into reality? None that I know of. Maybe you do. I don't know of any. Because you know why? Because they're, they're not doing a great job at work because they're focused on the side hustle and they're not going to turn that side hustle into a business because they still have to work. So if I go back to 2007 where I, you know, I had a really good job making six figures as an as a executive in a media company. And I knew that if I wanted to start a business and you know, live my lifelong dream of starting something, I had to completely stop what I was doing and start something fresh. So at the end of March in 2007, I quit my job, I left. And on April 2nd, 2007, started what became Content Marketing Institute. And I could forget everything I was doing and I completely focused on something new. Would I, would lo would I have loved to say, oh, for six months, I was working on building an audience and I put the website together. And when I left in April, everything was done. I would love to say that, but that doesn't happen. That's fantasy land. That you have to focus on being great at one thing. And those, like we just talked about, Michael Jordan, he focused on being the greatest uh, basketball player. Then he stopped that and he said, I'm going to stop that now. Forget about that for a while. I'm going to go be a baseball player. If the strike wouldn't have happened in 94, 95 for Major League Baseball, he would have become a Major League Baseball player. There's no doubt in anybody that saw Michael Jordan play that he would have been a very good or great baseball player too because he stopped basketball. Then when he stopped baseball, he went right back to basketball and focused. Never did two at the same time. Same thing in business, same thing in marketing, same thing when you're talking about, you know, turning, you know, lemons into lemonade or whatever you want to, whatever you want to talk about. So that's where if you're in marketing, you don't do everything. I know a lot of marketers and you do too, where they're like, oh, we're going to, let's do some social ads over here. We'll do a little bit of PR. We'll do a little bit. And I get that. You have, sometimes you have to do a little bit of everything, but from a building audience standpoint, you do not. Uh, if you look at the greatest media companies of all time, how did they start? New York Times started by doing one thing great, did a great newspaper. Huffington Post started by doing one thing great. They did one, started with one blog. Now they've got hundreds, right? Uh, TED Talks. Uh, TED, a great media brand now, just started with their in-person events. Very small thing. Blew up to this huge media thing. Um, Red Bull Media House. If you want to look on the brand side, how did Red Bull Media House, maybe one of the greatest sports uh, entertainment media companies around, maybe second to, uh, to ESPN, if you will, where you've got Red Bull. How did Red Bull Media House start? They started with a Formula One magazine and turned that into the Red Bolton. That was their one thing. And then they diversified into all these things. So that's my thing. And, you know, you don't start two businesses. You don't, you don't start... Uh, two platforms. You don't do, be great at one, build your audience in one, uh, be amazing, be helpful, whatever you want to say. And then once you do, and you build your audience in that platform, then you can have the discussion about diversifying, but only then when you have that built. 